Good morning from Sydney. It is a beautiful day in an all new city and so after being us we are of course doing a walking tour. Let's go. We're halfway through our tour so far and our tour guide Leo is doing an amazing job of giving us historical information but also balancing it out with more modern day tips and tricks of how the locals live today and what we can do in the area. One thing of note is that so many museums here are free which is incredible and then the other thing is the history here sounds so much like that in Canada in the sense that First Nations and Aboriginals have occupied this land for thousands of years. They said at least 60,000 years. They also obviously have a lot of colonial history because Great Britain sent their convicts here and that's how Australia was initially established and in Canada it's the same situation in the sense that we have an Aboriginal history and origin and then colonialization happened obviously we didn't have convicts sent to canada so a little bit different but even just in the types of buildings that we're seeing here they have a lot of colonial buildings that were built in the 1800s and so does canada and we take such great pride in these buildings but it's funny because they're 150 200 years old so compared to european history Asian history, it pales in comparison. So I'm just seeing so many similarities. About you, but that was pretty fun. Definitely. It was probably one of the most comprehensive tours of a new city for us that I think I've ever been to. We've been through a bunch of different neighbourhoods. We've seen so many important buildings, both in terms of modern and also colonial history. And I mean, I think it's kind of testament to just how Sydney's kind of organised as a city that really kind of everything you want to see is so compacted into one walkable area really but yeah it was really cool so just so that you know in case you're interested in doing this then the company we went through is called I'm Free Walking Tours and our guide Leo was both informative and hilarious and was also just really down for a chat between stops as well and all around just a really super guy so I think 
all in all, that was a very good introduction to the city, which I have to say definitely reminds me of Toronto and a lot of other newer cities. It already has that air of familiarity, really. Thoroughly enjoyed it, and it's a great way to spend a few hours. We're going to take the train back to our accommodation. By the way, the train system here is super easy. You can pay by tapping your Apple Pay, Google Pay, credit card, as long as it's Amex, MasterCard, Visa. And that applies, I believe, to the trams, buses, trains, and ferries. So really easy to navigate. We're going to head back to our accommodation. We're feeling jet lag. This is actually the biggest time difference that we have experienced since we arrived in England. So this is four hours ahead of Vietnam. So we have a little bit of work to do and we're feeling tired and we just want to rest up. So that's where we're going to go now. Hello from the kitchen of our Airbnb. Hello! It's been a while since we spoke to you because we've just been working all afternoon. But it is now dinner time. And as you can see, our Airbnb has a toaster and a kettle down there coffee, Vegemite, peanut butter, dishes and stuff like that. So we are going to take advantage of having a kitchen because we are now in an expensive country again, which means no more eating out. It means back to the days of Italy where we were grocery shopping. We decided since we're in Australia, we should try Vegemite. Now, I've never tried Vegemite but I do love Marmite, so I'm eager to give it a go. And since I know you love Marmite, I think you Vegemite love this as well. Let's see. I've been told a light coating is best, just like with Marmite. It smells really similar, so here we go. It tastes similar. I like it. I like Marmite more. I feel like Marmite has a stronger, more bitter taste to it. I don't know how to describe the difference. This is just more vegetable-y and like less offensive, but I like the offensiveness of Marmite. Beach, Sydney. While this place is absolutely amazing, we're not actually going to be staying here. We heard about this amazing walk which takes you up and down some of Sydney's best beaches and it takes you all the way to, however you pronounce it, Kuji, Kugi Beach and should take us about two to three hours. It's about six kilometers so we're going to be spending our morning doing that.
And just like that, we're at Kuji Beach. And by just like that, I mean about an hour and 45 minutes later. So it didn't take nearly as long as was predicted on the internet. And it's not like we were going fast by any stretch of the imagination. We were stopping to take photos and have breaks because I'm not feeling 100% having a little bit of stomach problems. So needed to, you know, take it easy. But that was absolutely stunning. If I lived in this area, I would happily do this walk every week. It's just beautiful scenery. So how would you sum up your experience? Dogs, runners, surfers, beaches. Yeah, that's probably the best way of putting it. Jokes aside, that was absolutely lovely. In terms of a coastal walk, then I don't think you can really get much better because you just got to really hug the coastline, you enjoyed all of the beaches, all of the scenery, there were even a couple of like extra sights to see along the way. You needed to take a rest stop, there were plenty of places to sit, plenty of places to grab a coffee or some food if you wanted to as well. All in all, this was a really good way to spend a couple of hours and I'm really glad we did this. Yeah, I think this was a really good way to see a different pocket of Sydney, explore a neighborhood and get a feel for what life is like here. Yeah. yeah, this was a really, really good thing. But you know what I also need aside from a lovely walk with a beautiful breeze? What's that? Coffee. Yeah. Same girl, same. That's what it wraps up. After a delicious coffee, we are now on our way back to our accommodation. And then we are going to be having a barbecue with some family because we very rarely get to spend any time with them. And we are not so we will pick this up later. Good morning. Sadly, this is our last day here in Sydney. So we are all packed up and about to check out of our Airbnb. I feel like we could have spent weeks here exploring different pockets of the city and going to all the free museums. But we do have a full day before we move on. And before we go, we have to get on one of the iconic Sydney ferries, and go to Manly Beach. I said, I don't know. We've just been chilling here on Manly Beach and unfortunately it is time to go. This is our last stop here in Sydney. But it has been well worth it. This is an absolutely stunning beach. I cannot imagine having this white sand beach as my backyard. No, I mean, you know, by being able to kind of just put this into your weekly routine just absolutely blows my mind. But talk to anybody who's come to Sydney. If you are wanting to get a really good view of all the things that Sydney Harbour has to offer, but you don't want to pay the price of a cruise, just go on the Circular Quay to Manly Ferry, and actually it takes you right through. You have Sydney Opera House on your right, you have Sydney Harbour Bridge on your left, and you get amazing views of both as you glide through the water to get to Manly. And it's exactly the same but flipped around on the way back. So, 
if you want to save yourself a lot of money, because I think the ferry crossing is, what, about $8 or something like that? Yeah, I think it's about $8. Yeah, in comparison to cruises which are significantly more expensive. So yeah, if you want to save yourself a fair amount of money so you can spend it on nice food and coffee instead, then that would be our pro tip. We are going to be moving on to another part of Australia, which we are very excited about. And we will pick things up with you then. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling.